Hello students, today we are going to see the problems related to first order and zeroth order reaction. Before going to the problems, uh, first we will compare first order reaction and zero order reaction, then we will study the formulas. So then it will be use, easy for you to solve the problems. So first order reaction, so for first order reaction your rate equation is minus Ra is equal to minus dCa divided by dT is equal to kCa power 1 okay so it is a differential form okay so and then for a zero order reaction it is minus or a is equal to minus dca divided by dt is equal to k ca power 0 that is any power 0 is equal to 1 so you will get k okay next we will see the formulas uh, integrated rate expression in terms of concentration for first order reaction is minus ln of Ca divided by Ca0 is equal to Kt. For zeroth order it is Ca0 minus Ca is equal to Kt. Okay. In terms of conversion it is minus ln of 1 minus Xa is equal to Kt. Okay. Uh, for zeroth order it is Ca0 Xa is equal to Kt. Okay. <coughs> Next is off life. So for first order reaction, your off life that is T of is independent of concentration. Independent of concentration. Okay. So for first order, sorry, for zeroth order, your T of is directly proportional to the initial concentration that is the difference it is for first order your half life is independent of concentration and for zeroth order your t of that is half life is directly proportional to concentration then next one is unit of k okay. unit of k so for first order unit of k is second inverse and for zeroth order it is mole per liter second okay so you should know all these things then only you can solve your problems you should remember these formulas to solve the problem okay. so your first problem is rate constant of a zero order reaction is 0 0.2 mole per liter hour so here the order is zero order okay and they have given the data rate constant is 0.2 mole per liter hour. So when you solve the problem first you have to write your given data. Okay. So rate constant K is 0.2 mole per liter hour. Then what will be the initial concentration of the reactant? Okay. If after half an hour its concentration is 0 0.05 mole per liter. So what they are asking what will be the initial concentration of the reactant that is Ca0 they are asking Ca0 when after half an hour so when your time is T is equal to 0.5 hour your concentration is 0 0.05 mole per liter okay so after half an hour its concentration is 0 0.05 mole per liter. So, your Ca is 0 0.05 mole per liter. So, they have given the concentration and time and rate constant. So, here you have to use the formula in terms of concentration to find out the initial concentration. So, for 0th order, the integrated rate equation in terms of concentration is Ca0 minus Ca is equal to Kt. So, this is the formula you should know. So, find out Ca0. So, Ca0 is equal to Ca plus Kt. Now, you just substitute the values. Okay. Now, that Ca is 0 0.05 mole per liter plus your K is 0. 2 into time is 0 
are in the same unit. So, mole per liter, mole per liter, it is also given in hour. So, this is also in hour. So, there is no need of changing the unit. Okay. So, 0 0.05 plus 0 0.2 into 0.5 is 0 0.1. Okay. So, if you add this, you will get 0 0.15. So, you have to put your unit. So, 0.15 unit of concentration is mole per liter. So, it is very simple problem. The second problem is the half life period of reaction of first order is 240 seconds. Calculate its rate constant in seconds and minutes. So, here the order is first order. Okay. So, first write your given data. So, your given data is they have given half life period of a reaction of first order is 240 seconds. That is your 240 is equal to 240 second it is t of is equal to 240 second okay then they are asking the rate constant that is k in seconds and also in minutes so this is your first step on the second step how to write your formula okay so for first order your <coughs> formula for t of is T of is equal to 0 0.693 divided by K. So, here they have given T of asking K. So, K is equal to 0 0.693 divided by T of. Okay. So, the next step is your solution. That is you have to substitute your given data in the formula. Okay. So, <coughs> so K is equal to 0 0.693 divided by T of. T of is 240 second. Okay. So, K is equal to if you divide 0 0.693 divided by 240, you will get the answer 2.89 into 10 power minus 3. So, second inverse. Okay. So, the next step is you have to, so you have to convert it in minutes because they have seconds and also in minutes. So, we find out in second. So, next you have to convert unit that is second to minute. So, you know that 1 minute is equal to 60 second. Okay, so, 1 second is equal to 1 by 60 minute. So, we need second inverse. So, 60 1 by 60 inverse if you take inverse it is 60 minute per minus 1. So, you substitute here that is 1 k is equal to 2.89 into 10 power minus 3 into 1 second power minus is equal to 60. So, now the unit is minute power minus 1. So, if you multiply this you will get the answer 0 0.1732 minute power minus 1. Okay. So, this is in minutes and this is in seconds. <coughs> okay, the next problem is the off life period for a certain first order reaction is 2.5 into 10 power 3 second. How long it take for 1 by 4th of the reactant to be left behind? Okay, so for this some first right given data. So, your given data is for first order reaction. So, so the reaction is first order and your half life period t of is equal to 2.5 into 10 power 3 second then they are asking how long it take so they are asking time for 1 by 4th of the reactant to be left behind that is a time t your concentration is 1 by 4 of initial concentration 1 by 4th of the reactant to be left behind so next step is formula formula so you can calculate k from t of formula half life formula that is for first order your t of is equal to 0 0.693 divided by k okay from this you can calculate k okay so in terms of concentration your rate equation is <coughs> that is minus 
sorry plus ln of c a not divided by c a is equal to k t okay so now substitute the values solution so the solution is uh, first substitute your t of value in this equation equation number 1 that is k is equal to 0.693 divided by t of so k is equal to 0.693 divided by 2.5 into 10 power 3 second that is equal to so if you divide this you will get the answer 2.77 into 10 power minus 4 second inverse this is your k value so you just substitute this k value in the uh, concentration expression that is rate expression so you just substitute that is here you can find out the time that is time is equal to 1 by k into ln of ca not divided by ca so 1 by k is 2.77 into 10 power minus 4 into ln of so ca not they have been given so you have to assume okay c a not they have been given so you just assume that c a not is equal to 1 mole per liter okay so we come to know c a is equal to 1 by 4 mole per liter okay so they have not given the value for c a not just they have given the condition that how long it take for 1 by 4th of the reactant to be left behind so you have assume you have only 1 mole per liter of concentration so ca is 1 by 4 mole per liter so t is equal to ln of ca not is 1 and your ca is 1 by 4 okay so 1 by 2.77 into 10 power minus 4 into ln of so 4 Okay, so if you multiply this, you will get the answer five zero zero five point five second. This is your final answer. Okay. The next one is the half life of a first order reaction A gives B is ten minutes. What percent of A remain after eighty minutes? So write the given data. That is. T of is equal to ten minutes, and your order is first order. Okay, the half life of a first order is ten minutes. So they are asking percentage of A remaining after what eighty minutes, sixty minutes after sixty minutes. Okay, so the formula. The T of is equal to. They have only given data is T of. So from that we have to calculate everything. T of is equal to 0.693 divided by k. And your for your first order reaction, your rate equation is in terms of concentration. It's ln of C A not divided by C A is equal to k T. Okay, the next step is solution. So first to calculate. K value, so K is equal to 0.693 divided by T of, so 0.693 divided by your T of value is 10 minute. So K is equal to 0.0693 minute power minus one. Okay. So next you just substitute here. So in for this equation, you know k value and t value. So you can find out ln of C A not divided by C A. So ln of C A not divided by C A is equal to 0.0693 into your time. So here the time is they are asking percentage of A remaining after 60 minutes. So your time is t is equal to 60. So ln of C A not divided by C A is equal to. If you multiply these two, you will get the answer four point one five eight. So C A not divided by C A is equal to four point one five 
your uh, you have to take the uh, x e power 4.158 so your answer is 63.94 so from this ca is equal to ca not divided by 63.94 okay so ca is equal to 0.0156 ca not okay so there is a formula for percentage a remaining so percentage a remaining is equal to ca divided by ca not into 100 okay so we know that ca is equal to 0.0156 ca not divided by ca not into 100 so you will get the answer 1.563 so this is a percentage a remaining after 60 minutes okay thank you